save this platoon. Edie? Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying! This sounds bad. Let's move. The level of destruction is rather amazing. Shepard, any idea what these Turians were here to do? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. Silence. Enemies ahead. Kill them quickly so they don't call reinforcements. on our side. Exactly. Let's go. fight another battle. Keep moving. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. The pressure for Lieutenant Victus to succeed in light of his father's promotion must be intense. War was a way of life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind.
Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Arnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court Marshal, we're hanging. More incoming husks! How will the Commander leave this down? When we find him, we'll ask. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, 
I just saved all your asses. Everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. Making hard decisions and dealing with the consequences. That's what being a leader is about. You're right, Commander. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? Sacrifice is what we sign on for. They know that. And so should you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, I've given you a second chance. Don't screw this up. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. We can yell the pro- Minds? Why have they got us guarding the door, anyway? He's gonna break regs right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, You've got new messages, road. Commander. Shuttle, 
This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. To keep the Krogan from becoming a threat. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant.
Centurions must have feared the Krogan to plant such a weapon. No one wanted another galactic war, but planting a bomb on Tichanka, it's monstrous. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. An effective way to deal with an enemy. The Turians who created this have my respect. But we're running out of time. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. Cerberus evacuating. The bomb should be clear. No, sir. They will try to stop us at all costs. set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Detonation protocol is opening. Cerberus, the air attack. Soldier, this is 
Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's a... Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Cover me! Radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. 
Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. To see the Lieutenant die for us. For his platoon. It hits close to home. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. Lieutenant Victor's fought for a cause he believed in. A soldier can't ask for more than that. He died well. Nobody dies well. I'm tired of saying otherwise. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard! It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now, is there something you need? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Buddy who got discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. Get fixed? Damn. Well, I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could. Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do.
Esteban, for your sh Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too.
Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games. Full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight. They just got one. Primarch, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solus has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours.
I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message from them. Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. Them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone, pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. The enemy is approaching. Move forward. Don't let them get up here. songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Who are you? Erd not Reeve. Brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. This Salarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the genophage. His kind gave us the genophage. Why should we trust him? Because I do. And so will you. Enough! You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a Reaper that needs killing! <laughs> the only Krogan who wants revenge for the genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan, problematic. What were the Ancient Krogan like? 
Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. You haven't seen how fast we can pop them out. Rex. What? With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? Adelatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on her. Why are we stopping? Rex, you and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. Will do. Reapers are bigger than I thought. Get moving. Look at that Reaper. It's like the end of days out there. It will be my first kill, but not the last. And remember to bring it back when you're done. to fight a war without a rule. What's the hold up? Road's out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper already knows we're here. <laughs> An airstrike isn't enough against the Reaper. We must join the fight. Damn it. I don't care if we have to build a new road. We are going. Shepard. Shows obedience as their subject. Another one. That didn't feel like a quake. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Commander. It is said that Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws, lives in this region. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. 
Galros, I would guess. Impressive. If that's what we've been hearing down here, I suggest we get moving. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it.
What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Take a breath, because here they come! Right Reapers must feel at home. These Krogan seem to have only one talent. Destruction. Even of their own. Ahead of us! I have them in sight. Reed. No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. Now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. We don't have a plan for this. Vengeance is the goal. 
Suicide is not. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was hers, actually. Kalros. We summon her to the Reaper. Would that even work? Already discussed strategy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from tower while cure synthesized. Released. What makes you so sure she'll come? Legends say she is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Galros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. I've taken some risks in my time, but this seems crazy. And going head to head with Sovereign didn't? This is the only way to get to that tower and release the cure. There's no other choice. But how would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. There are two Mawhammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Wait! I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a sister to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Now, let's show them why. Go! I've got this! I have heard that Rex! And this is my planet! See you on the other side. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have Cure ready.
package dropping. Trying to compensate. The second hammer's on the other side. Loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. Stabilized new government should wreck get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! C control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access wire. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. More no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong.
A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're gonna defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know.
It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. Yeah. Sounds like her. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well, I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Udina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom in Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them, then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about the Rachni? Turns out they... In hindsight... No problems with... Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation. But whatever you did, it was worth it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. What happened to the Batarians? 
never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Neveria. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. something. Signal confirmed.
Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. I found something. Signal confirmed. Evasion successful. Reapers eluded. a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it.
Save some of them for me. Be ready, Commander. You're gonna get swarmed. Commander, I've been flushed from cover. Retreating to minimum safe distance. No problem. Cortez, get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. you come in Victory Commander, a crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. 
Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus. You heard from him? Commander, no, Chief Engineer Adams him. would like to speak with you down in engineering. No way I want that crap on my record. Commander? Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic... What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander.
Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Must have been. Commander? Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander.
Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in c -Sex flying blind without the network. Is this the situation everywhere? Are the counselors even alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. <laughs>